Nancy's Project. <laughs> the book that we'll be discussing is called The Kite Runner. Okay. So the general, uh, it was really nice of him to accept a beer into his family, you know, like his daughter and everything. Mm -hmm. And why did he accept Amir? Because Amir's dad, Baba, was good friends with the general. Oh, so that worked out for everybody then. Yeah. And they like they like Samoriari. Yeah. But it was like really bad because like so what was her name? Um Sororia. So how do you Sororia? Sororia, yeah. And Amir. They couldn't have a kid, so that's kinda of sucked because Oh yeah, yeah. Rhea. She couldn't get Ray. <laughs> <laughs> And didn't Boba die after, like a month after the wedding? Yeah, he did. And that really hurt me. And, um... He was a good father to him, though. Yeah, yeah and he was, a, he was nice, too. He's kind of strict. Yeah, he was strict. Especially was in the nice. beginning of the book. Right. Wait, why did... Why didn't they have kids? Why didn't they have kids? Unexplained infertility. Oh, that the that's the thing. word. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. So, didn't he get raped? Big issue. Um, oh, yeah. Hassan Amir's best friend, Hassan. Got raped in the be beginning, middle ish. It was more than the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And. What was the name why? of the guy that raped the guy? I can't remember his name. Hosef. 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 Was there, there was more than one guy, right? There was like three of them, I think. Right? Two. Uh, I don't remember, but they were also bullying him too. I know, and he was, and he was young too, right? Yeah, how old was he? He was only like seven, eight, maybe. No, not Hassan. Hosef. Oh, oh, I was like, Hosef <laughs> <like, laughs> <laughs> was older. He was like, no, he was like, was like a little all right, kid. he was like 14. Yeah. Oops. He was like 14. What, how, what 14 year old knows what to do with that dude? He's gonna like rape this little boy. I know, seriously. No, but it was really messed up how Amir was just like watching. Yeah. And then he runs away. And then he sees him walking away and he sees Hassan walking and he doesn't even do anything. He just says, Where were you? Yeah, but if you were in a position like that, like if you knew that those guys could probably take you like I don't know. Well, do the same thing. If I was there watching. Wait, if would you guys do something if you saw that? And you couldn't call anybody? Like if it was that time period. And they could do the same thing to you. Because I think that's why he was afraid because yeah. the bullies would do something back to him too. Like I could get why he wouldn't do anything. Like, you know, really but then after right. that, he Amir treated Hassan differently. Like badly. Yeah, because he felt guilty. Like he framed him with the thing about the watch. Yeah, he put it underneath his pillow. Yeah. Like a... That was horrible. But like, I think he did that because he kind of, like he knew that if he set him up in like a bad position, then Hassan and the and their colleagues, like it would like make them leave and he didn't want him to be around if um, Asaf or whatever was still around, you know what I mean? Like kind of like force him to leave. Yeah, but didn't Asaf rape Hassan's son anyway? Right? Yeah, at the end. Oh yeah. So the guy that got raped, his son got raped. By the same guy. <laughs> yeah, but speaking of um, Hassan's son, because of the whole um, unexplained infertility thing, Amir goes to goes back to Afghanistan to um, look for Hassan's son, right? Yeah. Wait, Hassan dies, right? Yeah. By the Taliban? Yeah. In front of whose house? Why does um, Baba forgive when after remember we said about the watch and why did he forgive him so quickly? Because I mean, like he wasn't it expensive. I mean, like he forgave him right away. He was like, I forgive you. I don't know. I guess it's just because he's kind of like his family. Like he's been like living with him for a while. So. And Hassan was his son, so he didn't want to oh, separate yeah. him. Yeah, Amir and Hassan, who were supposedly best friends, they actually turned out to be half brothers. 
Yeah, you don't find that out until like later on in the book. So now it's complicated because now they're half brothers and. But they don't even know that they're half brothers. Bubba kept it a secret because they're like family. Um, uh, Lee and Bubba. So he doesn't want to hurt his feelings or whatever. Yeah. How about. His birthday party when he saw the ra his rapist. Oh, yeah. no, that was Amir's birthday, right? Yeah, Amir. Yeah, that was bad. But yeah, he was like, it was his birthday, and then it was a like, big house party, and there were so many people over. And then, what's his? Asaf? Asaf. Asaf came over to the party, and he was like acting all nice in front of Amir's dad and in front of everybody else, but you know, Amir knew what was going on. Wait, didn't Seth give, like, a present to Yumi or something? Oh, yeah. What did he give? I don't remember. I don't remember what he gave him to Yumi. Oh, yeah, I think it was Yumi. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, Sana Bird, didn't she show up? The Sana's mom. Oh, yeah. And then just left him and then showed up again. I think Sana Bird died, didn't she? Yeah. Like, after she what would she say to Hassan? Did she say anything? I think she just told him that like, she was like, his mom. So, what would you guys do if someone just came back and said, hey, you haven't seen him like, forever? Or what, they were like your mom or something? Yeah. I'd be like, uh, no, not my mom. <laughs> yeah, I would believe them. Yeah, it's cause, and he had to be, like, he had to live a hard life too because he was a servant to his own father. Yeah. Did he, he didn't even he know did that was his father. Well, um, Amir adopts Hassan's son, who finds him in Afghanistan, and oh, yeah. brings him back to America. I can never say this guy's name. Seth was like one of the leaders of the Taliban or something yeah. like that. Yeah. What's the Taliban? The people, weren't those the people that like took over Taliban? They thought yeah. they were the saviors and then like they just made everything worse. Yeah, so. Hi! This is Trinity. So the theme of the book was. <laughs> She's just sitting there. Trinity, this is not your project. <laughs> okay, say bye, Trinity. Bye! So the whole theme of the the whole theme of the book was what? To be good again and have redemption because of the lies that Amir did and the rape that he kept from everyone. So Yeah, I guess he just wanted to like redeem himself by going back to Afghanistan and finding his son's son, you know, kinda of make up for things he did in the past. And it's great because he can have a son before and no, he can. Yes. Yeah. And overall it was a really good book. And should read it. So yeah. El finito. Peace.